Welcome to today's video, gents. In this video, I'm gonna show you the five ways on how to make your schlong soda can thick. <laughs> Wrong video, hold up. The safari jacket, a very practical, rugged and useful garment that has really been buzzing in menswear lately to the point where it's now it's a more casual substitute to the sports jacket. So today I'm gonna go over what it is, how to wear and how to choose the right one for you. So I'm sure many of you guys have owned a jacket that has many of the same features you see on a safari jacket. I would say it's part of the same family as a shirt jacket, field jacket or utility jacket. But what makes a safari jacket a safari jacket is its signature bell of pockets on the chest and hip area, button down closure, epaulets, and a belt if you were to choose a mid-length safari jacket. Now traditionally, these jackets come in earthy tones such as brown, beige, tan, and khaki for the reason being to not stand out from the environment so much when you are out on a safari because too bright of a color can actually scare away animals. Now I know I'll get a question like, why do I need a safari jacket if I don't plan on going on any safari trips, this is useless. First off, stop yelling, I'm right here. Second, this video is not over yet. And third, we can really elevate this piece to something very smart and appropriate for the summer. Now it's way too hot to layer anything and if you need something to elevate your outfit to something more than just slacks and a dress shirt, then a safari jacket is gonna help you do just that without breaking a sweat. The one that I've been wearing lately is custom made by Hawkerty and I've done a detailed video review on it already. So I'll link it up if you wanna check it out if you're interested on going custom as well as leave a uh, um, discount code below in the description. But anyways, let's get started with the visuals starting with the most casual outfit. So the first outfit is very simple, keeping it very casual with a luxury tee by Robert Barricade with some, you know, just regular denim and white sneakers. The open safari jacket just adds a bit more to this outfit and you know it just gives you such a like uh, effortlessly stylish vibe now next outfit we're stepping halfway past the casual here but we're still keeping it lightweight and appropriate for the summertime by going with these suede tassel loafers cotton trousers a linen popover shirt and of course having that longer style safari jacket as a finishing layer uh, finishing layer while keeping it open I think the shades that go best with business casual outfits are Clubmaster models. It just screams class whenever you are slightly dressed up. In this picture, you can see me wearing my Enemy 02s, which has been my go-to shades lately. Next outfit, we're gonna go fully belted here. I still kept the tones earthy by going with this merino wool t-shirt underneath the jacket. You could also, um, I, I also didn't button up the jacket. I just tied it to the side for that effortless vibe. Just, you know, adding the belt alone adds a sartorial look to your outfit no matter what you wear it with, really. Okay, so remember I said that the safari jacket can elevate an outfit to something smart while being appropriate for summer? Well, here I did just that by ditching the blazer and replacing it with a safari jacket over a light blue dress shirt and white trousers. So yeah, we may not be going on a safari, but you know, lots of venues are opening up now so you can hit up the bars and hunt your prey there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so before I let you guys go, let me go over a few tips to keep in mind before shopping for a safari jacket. Tip number one, choose neutral colors for your first safari jacket. This is gonna make it much easier to wear with many outfits and avoid black because a black belted safari jacket it's just gonna make you look like a ninja. Huh? Tip number two, keep everything else simple. This is a statement piece, so don't try to overdo it with too many, you know, flashy like clothing or accessories. Last and final tip is experiment with different fabrics. Linen works best for me due to where I live, but there are many different, different, you know, thicker fabric options to choose from, such as corduroy, suede, or even a weatherproof fabric if you experience a lot of rain. But yeah, that wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching once again. I'll make sure to leave links down in the description below for you guys to check out. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.